Okay, uh, just a short clip here uh, demonstrating WSJTX on uh, my iMac. And if you've seen my other videos, uh, I have a Remlog NG connected to the ICOM 7300 and uh, using just the USB cable. And I can show you what it looks like over here. And there's a new version of Remlog out. It's uh, version 3.3. And uh, one of the first things I noticed was uh, setting the clock uh, on the front of the radio. It's over here underneath settings. And uh, I haven't looked around to see uh, what other changes have been made. But uh, boy, I, I like using it. And uh, back to WSJTX and uh, JT Bridge. Uh, I've been using it and I really like it. It's a lot of fun. The uh, W, the uh, wide graph waterfall, boy, is just beautiful on this Macintosh. Uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution. Uh, beautiful. The uh, text is a little small. I have to wear my reading glasses, but I'm getting used to it. And uh, let me show you how I have it set up. Uh, WSJTX. Uh, Kind of like I have it set up uh, on the PC, I'm actually pretty close. Uh, anyway, this is this is the same uh, as on the PC, but on the radio, you see I have Ham Radio Deluxe selected, and I'm able to do that because I have it running on my laptop, and uh, I've got it connected uh, with a CIV cable. Uh, so the the IP address of my laptop is here. The port that Ham Radio Deluxe uses is here. And I'm using cat for push to talk. Uh, I'm using fake it for split operation because ham radio deluxe just works better that way. And uh, it's, it's been working uh, good for me. Uh, it's been uh, reliable. And uh, you know I, I could use the 7300 for the rig. I've done that. But uh, the problem I run into is I have to go into the radio and uh, change uh, one of the settings uh, underneath connectors and CIV have to go in there and uh, uh, link it uh, to the remote and uh, Remlog NG uh, likes it unlinked so if I go ahead and if I link it then I lose uh, Remlog NG and uh, it's kind of a catch-22 you can't win on that one and if you figure out something please uh, let me know uh, the other thing I can do is I could set it the, the rig to none and uh, just you know control the frequency and everything uh, using the radio and uh, that'd be fine but I wouldn't be able to use split operation and I kind of like uh, being able to use split operation you know the, the guys that wrote the software says that uh, uh, that's the way to go and it produces a cleaner signal and I, I believe them I got my own reasons but uh, I believe that so I, I'm using uh, Ham Radio Deluxe on my uh, PC, and uh, you know the the other uh, the other thing I've seen people doing is using uh, DX Lab Suite Commander, but for the life of me, I can't figure out how to get it to work. Uh, it's supposed to work if you select it, but it's not working for me. And uh, if you know how to get it to work, uh, let me know. Uh, the rest of this is pretty much the same uh, using the USB audio codec. Uh, uh, reporting um, using a PSK and a UDP server. Uh, this is set up so uh, uh, the same. I think the same is on the PC. The same uh, uh, server and port number on the PC. So uh, you know it's uh, very similar. A lot of fun to use. JT Bridge is fun. Uh, it alerts me uh, when somebody's calling CQ. Let me see if I get somebody in here real quick. Uh, yeah, there's a station. Click on that. And Next thing I plan on doing is uh, getting uh, FL Digi going and logging to Remlog. Uh, JT Bridge allows me to, to log to Remlog, and I like that. That's a uh, big reason I'm using it. Well, he didn't come back to me, so I'll go ahead and stop that. Anyway, that's the demonstration. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And visit my website, www.k0pir.us. 73 and good DX. 
No, they're just calling. 